get all the information. They may not want it, but they're certainly going to get it. One to the right. Great shot. Great double. And Yumpy's having two stellar CT pistol rounds. Oh, it's stolen away. That is so cool. Yampi taking down a call. The smokes are down in A, but it doesn't even matter. What a great way to take all the initiative away. Holy Yampi shit. with a quad kill. He's running for it. He wants that ace. He's looking for it. And there it is. What? Not fitting with what's going on in the server. That was absolutely beastly. And in the middle, they all go to sacrifice themselves to Sunny and Yampi again. So, but there's the dink. But again, just to Farmus, it's not nearly as much damage as he'd like. And Sergey hasn't really moved his position. Yeah, he's pushed on a ramp. That's a big win for Sunny, but he's not wrapping around through Palace. Look at Shush and Bubsky. They're so far away. The bomb is not quite planted for them, but I'm sure they could be called back if it's needed. Roy with a good kill. Now it's a two on two, and that happened oh, really no. quickly. It's and not now planted for him. No, it's definitely not planted for him. And they're Whoa. slow to get back. That's a nice shot from Bubsky. Man, they could have the middle. And, oh, it's just a second too late, and he's down again a lot. To start this map, he's going to see a Cillian. Will he hold for a second kill? No. He's happy to take the bomb. He's happy to get it on the ground and just wreak havoc upon the plans of Mad Lions. And even if Shush clears out Sergei, which he misses his opportunity to do it clean, and pushes. Well, here come the Glocks into the A side. <laughs> So uh, there's a deagle as well. Nice Ooh. double nade for Allo. That's what we're talking about. Trying to stop the bomb plant and that I say I say call a save. Certainly now. Now that Sunny's gone down, it is not worth it. Preserve the weaponry, preserve the money. You're gonna have an op in the next round and unfortunately Opening up but also finding that one all the way over it. So that could definitely maybe turn this into a victory for uh, for Mad Lions. He's very, very dangerous. Uh, eight, oh, sorry, eight. have more of a presence middle, but they're actually going to leave Ariel alone in there. And they're about to go on him. <laughs> this is all a fake. Nice show about this. I thought for sure Mad Lions would just go immediately. Now Alu's showing up to pick them apart. That's a that's actually, I think, a big mistake for Mad Lions. <clears throat> yeah, Acor left to see what he can do. I Roy, it hits him, so he gets the sound cue and takes the shot into the smokes. But also the constant aggression that they've had to face up against. I think it just has uh, Mad Lions feeling pretty uncomfortable with their game plan. And look at how well these Ents players individually are shooting. We've seen Yumpy obviously on point. Now it's Sunny having a great gamble here. And Sergei's gonna have to hide, but there's there's plenty of players to clear this position out. Good shot, good trade from Roy. Scoping, Sunny, he wants to go for it. I'm sure of it. He's just biding his time and it's not gonna happen. Initiate that fight. Like that would have been tricky no matter what. Allo, I think he's sticking around to try and see if he can be really annoying and get another kill, but eight. This Whoa. is the best way to be tested on the map that you wanted to play on. Nice shot from Yumpy. Sonny's blind, though, and can do nothing about Shush. He was blind for a long time, and Shush will hit another headshot on Allo, who's all the way back here. Pretty deep grenade. Actually, will do a fair bit of damage, and Ariel's taking down Shush. They can still hold this. They can still defend it. Nice shot from Ariel. And now they've got a real shot at here. Two on two. The bomb going down. And I think Sergei, you can just see it. And it's going to be Yampi to get the kill for the box instead. Roy now defending one versus two. And he's got no ch it. It's just so powerful. And think about how long. I mean, there used to be a point in time I when how, how you just attempted to, to go for it. That's... Uh... Alu with a double kill. That's just a two-man set piece to try and, I guess, eliminate the AWP on Alu. One jumping out, letting the op post up. But, man, you lose a lot of utility that doesn't get spent in this round. You lose a lot that you don't have. Any individual heroics going on for Mad Lion. Probably seen everything up to this point. The odds uh, firmly in control of Ensign. It makes sense. By the look of this defense, by taking that first map, this series, we're watching it before our very eyes slip away from Mad Lions. Yeah, well and truly. Story of success for Ents right now. Mad Lions needs to there. Sunny as the smoke fades. Sneaky kill. Taking down Acorn. And no, he wants to go for more. Me. He's going to do it again. <laughs> play. Mad Lions is thinking there's there's no chance he repeat. Oh, he's gone for a third. <laughs> what a scumbag. Triple kill for Sunny before he goes down. <laughs> oh, dear. And it's just shush. You could love you in this round is how long teammates? Those are just dry timing peaks. Well, speaking of running Tech Nine, nice spray from Sergey, following him over the little bit of a flash setup. But uh, oh, and they're gonna get the kill as well. Sunny and Sergey and Alu joining in, and just like that, it crumbles. Roy in a lot of trouble, even with that kill. He's behind the box, he's low on health. If they shoot through, he's dead in a second. And there is the sh they don't have an answer for it right now. 
Aiko will take down Alu, and I mean, if, as much as Aiko can win that fight, that's going to be huge. And in the middle, it's well dropping Sunny, but that hasn't happened consistently. Now they're rushing into the B bomb side, and there are two people here. Jampy all the way in the back in a one versus three. Uh, actually, yeah, Shush on the other side, so he's going to have to do this alone. Sergey and Shush are having their own fight. Great shot, and Sergey's gone down, so now it's all on Yampi. He's going to have to try and see if he can ace his way out of this round. That's it. Sonny's in trouble. The peak from below. Oh my god. I cannot believe And he brought a Cillian down to oh. six. To oh! Involved none of this. It didn't involve that ace and the pistol in the first half. Certainly didn't involve <laughs> Sunny just basically lasering people away over at the uh, B bomb site. Acor doing his best to try and bring it back, and he did on train, but this time it's not going to happen. Asilian will be alone, and Alu is <gasps> waiting for him with a knife out. Oh, he's going to do it. He's just behind him. There's the knife, and that is amazing. Oh, so. Molotov in is extinguished by the smoke. There's two players down here. Oh. That's a good first couple of wins for Mad Lions, and they might be able to return this, and Shush is just casually holding the line. And they don't know there's a second player here. That's kind of the whole trick, right? You put out the Molotov, and then you have actually two people hiding inside of the smoke, and they're not expecting it. I actually think Sergei was looking for it, but he can't look everywhere, and eventually... They're closing the gap on his position. No real utility. And it, that Roy can just stay and chill and relax. Shush is eventually going to go down in the window. But there's a nice crossfire between Catwalk and this play and Connector. Mad Lines have done it. They've shut things down. Sergey is next, but he has found a parting gift. One parting kill before the rest of Mad Lines swarm his end of this when 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 ends take them down. I want to see I want to see the fan cam in a, when their team loses. We haven't seen that yet. No, you're right. Wow, good spray down from Shush. Maybe we should get good day. And I feel like if they can just find it within themselves to start playing a little bit better, this half can come back very quickly. Mad Lions are a very dangerous and proficient team. They have not shown us. Don't call it just yet. Oh. Good kill for Yumpy. Accidental jump on Bubski. You have to assume Roy going down. If they lose this two on five, I I think it's the over. Like, especially with, a, with the accidental jump in between. Like, that would be, just be so heartbreaking. Three seconds on the clock, he's gonna make contact, and it's gonna be an easy kill for Lines at a, at a really weird moment. There's Yumpy's Teagle, oh my. Stayed inside all, I don't know, 14 years of his oh life, no. or whatever old he is. A call. <laughs> Going down. Oh, this is getting really awkward. Shush, he knew, he knew he had to take that fight, and he couldn't swing quick enough. Now, it's real awkward here. Pistols that they're losing against, two on four. Bobski's getting in a position, he has to, well... First He's one. got a chance. He's got a real chance. This, this is this is a bit scary if you're Ents. You do not want to drop this round. It needs to be a peak from... And the next many rounds. Oh, called in for a flashbang. Yampi turning around. What a great player he is. Almost getting the spray on Roy there. But look at how incredibly quick he is at making those... those. He's about to flank Shush over at the A side at the same time. Oh, and now it's Alu in a one versus three. And he's got a chance. He always has a chance. Um, Alus walked in front of the bomb site now, and he's just waiting for it. He's out of the open. Shush, again, a second away from peeking him, and there's the what kill back there as well. There's the first peek, and he's right out. So that makes it a little bit more safe. Bangs three Molotovs and a smoke to help get out of this bomb site. There's the peek. Bobski goes down eventually. One more player inside of the site. It's a Cillian. He's biding his time. There it is. There's the moment. And Roy is here, and... If he goes down too early, they've got to be very careful. Good kill for Roy. And Alu with the AWP can't pressure him. There. That's four kills and eight deaths in the second half. Make what it nine. That's a critical kill for uh, Bobski, but he's still going to go down, oh God. giving up the AWP. Yeah, this could be absolutely horrendous. A nice Molotov in the middle of the site, catching Ariel. That's a free kill, essentially. But he needs Shush to come in and help out. He's out in the open with it. Oh, no! Oh. That's a no-scope! That should be illegal! And now he's running into the corner, trying to find it. Aiko with one more shot. Can he save his team? He's got a second here. He sees the legs, and he takes... Oh, look at Shush and Roy, but if they're not quick about it, Yampi again with the entry. He young player is amazing to see. Aiko, <laughs> lightning fast, taking down Sunny, and finally they got rid of Jampy as well. And now all of the pressure, no, wait a minute, Ariel, he's sneaking in the middle, Look they the could flank. still lose the round, and there's another flank. They're all flanking each other right now, <laughs> what? I don't know how this is gonna go. Shush will get a kill, Aiko taking down Ariel, how is he even checking that? I 
I don't know. We're gonna have to see. Real has a big win, but it's a one for one trade. And you last time Yampi got this really great kill against Trish, just lurking into the bomb side. This time he's gonna get caught by Roy, so that's a bit annoying, especially when the bomb is down. And that's 25 seconds, so they have to commit to it. Sunny in the middle, he's I think the only one that could save them, and now it's almost un impossible with Sergey going down. Sunny's gonna get caught. Roy is having himself a hot moment here with a quad kill. Are coming into the other side. Bobski's not that far away from middle. And Roy with the opening, that's a real problem. Great shot from Sunny, and he needed that follow-up. He had the right idea. It's like just 10 seconds left on the clock right now, so I don't even know what they're waiting this long. Yeah, round is done. Absolutely nothing they could do. I don't really mind the attempt, but Mad Lions were playing so defensively that Ents could get just no fights to begin this whole thing with. Alu gonna be shattered. They've accomplished that. They now have that second follow-up bot. Smoked off for the minute A-Core with the AWP, but look at sure she's got a really interesting angle here. And there's no one shooting with the back. That's where Sergei should have been. Sunny will get one, but he gets traded again, and that is gonna collapse the whole thing. Alu's sneaking around over at B, but that is it's not gonna do much, even if he got that kill. Roy swings for Yampi, who's the only one, again, who could try and be a hero here. One versus three, and with 40 seconds. Things. Oh, the timing! Just as Popsky turns around, that's pretty unfortunate. A silly in there. Oh, a little bit wild spray, oh. and there's a kill, but he vaults right into the Molotov that shushed it through. Eight seconds left. If he gets interrupted, it's done. Sonny holding the ground. That is... May have been right. He wants to fight it. I was wondering if this was worth it, but here's the smoke. Here's the flash to set it up deep, and Alu is over there with the AWP, but there's a... But Acorn needs to get flashed off this angle. There it is. Ooh, big win for sure. Finally, he's able to get involved. Yup, he's not going to clear under dark. But where's the follow-up? It's been the problem this whole time. Sonny coming in a little bit late. Yeah, they are really slow to do it, but they might have found the right uh, formula anyway. Roy, we're not connecting. And Roy, uh, Acorn, he's locked in over there. Roy <laughs> goes down, and then almost a shot. That could have been it. That could have been overtime right then and there. Acorn hiding back here. He saved him. Almost walking into the line of fire there, but Alu's on the other side. Control of connector, although he doesn't push in. Good kill for him. And he's lucky to be alive. He overextends just a bit, and I can't really blame him. Must have been pan side, so that might put him out of the round for a bit here. Sonny with some damage. Bobski going down, and they're holding it well. Ents, they might be right back in the round. That's a great cleanup. Nobody else go for the rifles, and he gets caught. He oh. gets caught not even considering a mid-push, and they're punished for it. I can't disagree. That not quite ready for it. All right. Sunny comes the firefight. Sunny gonna turn the corner. Oh, yeah, he is fast. They're never gonna expect shush. They'll never expect shush. Certainly not. There's knife out. There's the bomb being planted. There's the pounce. Double kill for shush. Front default plant spot. Bubsky makes noise, but they've already come past Yumpy. What a great return. Even better from Ariel. But will they will they check Roy? Oh, oh no. he's giving it away. He's taking a shot at first glance. Double, but yeah, Roy definitely a little bit panicked at the moment. And shush. Absolutely no chance coming out of this one. If they fight him one at a time, sure, but I mean. Hopefully they will discontinue that plan right at the moment. Yampi will take one down. Seven, the run boost into the middle, and Aiko will take down. Just call for the save. They cannot put themselves in that awkward position. Sergey only gets the one. If he had transferred over, maybe the retake is on, but these two really know. No. Don't do this. You're going to get lured into it. You're going to lose everything. Oh. You're going to lose it all. This is heartbreaking for Ents. Should have listened. He's going to get the follow-up. He tracks him with a leg shot, but Acor nails his. That, I mean, the, that is unbelievable. Something that might give your team a chance at winning. Now, let's snuck in, but I'm not loving that plant, plant position. That's making me really nervous. Oh, he, Asilian, he holds it down, gets the kill. Follow up is here, inside of the smoke. 10 second defuse for Allo. That is not gonna happen. And Jason, you said save once again. They had a chance maybe in a three on three, but it's been taken away. And, oh yeah, he saw it. See you again. Something creative coming out, and he's already seen the aggression, so very prepared, and this time Yumpy's missed the mark. Oh, Harry, no. oh my god, no! He's gotten three kills with a UMP! A bit. Time is ticking. Alu's the one with the kit. Great headshot on Roy, and now low on health is Bobski, hiding inside of the smoke. They know he's there, they almost take him down, and there it is! Oh no! Oh, yeah. Walking right into the shot there with sure And Sunny, he will be ready for it. Almost goes down anyway. That was dangerous, but the return is even better. That's in middle and over at the Palace Sergei taking down Bubsky. And wow, yeah, like I said, the problem is now that economic threat is not going to be... Plant and Sunny with low HP does not want to peek and risk losing the weapon. 
So Yumpy's gonna smoke disappeared. So Sergey has no idea, or does he? Right at the end, he till the rest of the team is there, and oh, this is a hard position to clear. Asilian, he's gonna do it anyway. What a magnificent shot there. Lu creates himself some space with his own smoke, but that's not gonna let him delay the plant. Yumpy coming through. Oh, a missed shot. He stops the bomb. Good response from Acor, but 15 seconds of the clock. This is doable. Yumpy might have just saved Ents one more time. And so oh, well, that no. is unfortunate. Oh, my dear God. <laughs> no one's in B. And Yampi and Alu showing up inside of the kitchen. Good shot with the 1AWP. Now that smoke is up, but not gonna slow him down. He wants to keep going. Like another double kill. He is out of control. <laughs> and now they're off their balance. Shush and Acor about to be crunched here, but Ariel and Alu open up. Acor with one in return. Roy comes in with a big one, but it might not be enough. A Cillian alone in a one versus three. The knockout punch. They